Do you know the way to the Great Valley? It's okay, take your time. Hey there everybody, this is Harley Barney. Welcome back to another edition of Starbound Racking Universe Mod. When we last left off, we took a look at the Wasteland Planets, and now we are going to move on to something a bit more primeval. Or should I say primordial? Because we're going to Tarball Planets today. What are Tarball Planets, you ask? Well, let's take a look. Tarball Planet is a semi-livable surface, encumbering bodies of liquid with abundant oil litter the surface. Recommend the heat protection. So basically, uh, they are gigantic tar pits. Uh, planet type, tarball, surface biomes, tarball, and bones. This one in particular has cinder showers, light ashfall, and smog. Doesn't sound very livable to me, but of course, like the cockroaches of the universe that we are, humans manage to survive on these planets. We also have some incredibly rare types of ores. We have Ephigium and Lysobrium, along with some other high-powered stuff, such as Triangulum. Now, this particular planet's small, the faunal threat is pretty dangerous, and it says the climate threat is low, but uh, it's not that low, trust me. We're going to see that here in just a moment, so... Let's hop on down here. Well, let's take a friend with us. And it looks like it's nighttime. It says, you should not attempt further exploration without proper protective equipment. So, yeah, even though this is on one for severe heat in comparison to the deserts, uh, number three, we're probably going to need this if we want to get through here anytime soon. And our chef is like totally hardy. He's just like, yeah, I'm here. I'm all good. Now, the thing about the tarball planets is look at how primordial they look. Just all oil, all mountains, lava, everything. Looks like we got a penal colony that way. So that was our human settlement and it's not a friendly one. But they have some interesting plants here, such as uh, the Tyvok hook, Tyvok dart, fungal hook core that you can get from those. Let's take a look in here. Hello! It's visiting day. I'm here to say hi. Wow, that's so nice. You just attacked my shelf. You're so mean. Why are you all so mean? And also, why'd they give the prisoners guns? That's, that's not exactly how prisons work. Look, you've even got broken out windows. You're on a tarball planet. Doesn't it stink here? I mean, you got like ash fall and everything too, so why don't you bust out your windows? Y'all are kind of dumb. Got graffiti on the walls and everything. It just looks nasty. Seriously. Y'all can't even clean up here. I'm not going to stay here for much longer. Let's get out of here. Yep, I think they killed my chef because he's not around here anymore. See, this is why I can't do anything nice for you all. And it looks like we have that cinder fall that I was telling you about. What? What did I do? You decided to come out here where you could get set on fire. That's what happened. Yeah, NPCs don't last very long out here in these kind of conditions. So, we've got some chilies. I like the volcano and volcanic and lava plants. These are a great place to actually find those. But with ash storms, <laughs> and especially the cinder fire, yeah, not exactly the funnest thing ever. But these guys seem to be living all right here. My dreams are haunted by a giant ape. What does that mean? It means you've been fighting Big Ape too much. What's this here? It's a home to some robots. And I'm gonna take their treasure. Whoa, what's happening? We're having a bone avalanche over here. A bone avalanche. Why? Why a bone avalanche? 
But yeah, bones everywhere. Definitely a land before time sort of feel. It, these look like fingers sticking out of the ground. That looks so cool. Hey, we have mushroom guys. That's the hops mushroom danger. Okay. So, so far I'm seeing a bunch of lava pits. Like, no water whatsoever. A lot of ash, a lot of fire falling from the sky. So, you know, very pretty to look at. Not very fun to bathe in. So anyway, that's just one tarball planet. Let's go take a look at another one. And it looks like it's completely nighttime. So it's time to put it to daytime. I said daytime. And this looks like a very, very dark planet, so it doesn't look like we're going to be getting much of anywhere in this. It's very, very, very dark. Meh. Okay, so maybe we need the plasma pack for this. Not going to be able to jump around that much. Definitely not getting through here fast. It's super dark, but the music's pretty cool. Hope y'all can hear that. You hear that chill beat going? Oh look, it's a pyramid. I'm just gonna take a nap here. And the bird's just walking all over me. It's like, oh hey, sorry, I didn't know you were there while stepping on my face. Okay, I'll bring you some copper ore. Sure, let's go talk to your friend. Why not? Hello. And why is coral growing down here in the lava? Just why? There you go. Okay, sure. I'll deliver your stuff real quick. At least I think I will if I can actually go through the building, which doesn't seem to be possible right now. So, okay. There we go. That has a really interesting looking face to it now. Okay, so moving on. And turning the music down slightly. It's just a very interesting looking area. Tarball planets. We have a Porphis bulb, and we took the Tyvok dart with us. A Lactarius Ingo. Indigo. Interesting, interesting. Nothing much interesting from that little tree. So, let's go ahead and head underground and see what we can find down here. More tar. A few oil deposits. A few ore deposits. A lot of triangulum. Some thorium. And, oh look, crystals. Oh good, I needed some more food for my little urchiest buddy. And what's this? Organic soup. Which is great. If you know, this eldritch horror wasn't attacking me. That organic soup actually fills up your uh, food, your health meter, for um, when you're actually playing on survival or whatever the mode before that is in hard mode. So it's always good to stock up on that if you have the chance. And organic soup's used for a few different things, I just can't think of what right now. And it looks like we've just gone straight to the bottom down here. Ah. Landed back in lava, so lava on the surface and lava underground. And let's see, we'll just go ahead and walk around on one more tarball planet just for the heck of it. And of course, we always arrive in the middle of the night. Because why not? 
Ah, look, we have an ash storm. And now we have fire again. And it pretty much looks the same as the other planets we were on. Burning. So, yeah, no dirt until you go really underground. We've landed in black tar. So, yeah, not very hospitable to much of anybody. So, is it feasible to colonize a tarball planet? You could, but you'd have to bring in a lot for it. Also, I wouldn't recommend it considering the cinder fall sort of uh I think it's called Cinderfall. No, where wait, where am I at? <laughs> okay. Cinder showers, my bad. The cinder showers and the ash fall, uh ash showers, whatever you call them, those two are not weather conditions that you will want to colonize will want to have on a planet that you're gonna colonize on because ash is going to block up your doorways and everything and you're gonna have to dig your way out. And if you have a less powerful matter manipulator than what I have, and um, you're going to be stuck there for a while digging that out every single time something happens. So, I would not recommend colonizing on a tarball planet. Plus, you can really only find them on some really upper tier stars, such as um, the black stars. So, by the time you get up there, you're not really going to have a lot of planets that you're going to want to colonize anyway because those are fairly dangerous. I would just use these to uh, take oil, tar, and various ores from. So basically like a treasure hunting planet. But uh, that's pretty much it for this round. Alright, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and share it with all of your friends. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you can catch the next video as soon as it comes out. Alright, this is Harley Barley, signing out.